Hey, hey, Cosmic Superstars, it's Tao here. Welcome to Honest Flow. Um, This is just a short little brief video to say I am still around. I'm just currently in Japan right now. Um, Currently, I am in the Makua Hotel in Ginza. And yeah, I'm just having a bit of a rest day, really. I'll rest night because it's um currently 11.45. Um, yeah, uh, it's been a really nice trip. I think I've been here about 11, 12 days now and I've got a couple more days to go and then I'm coming back home to Melbourne, Australia. And yeah, I just really wanted to come on and say, it's like, I'm still around. And I know I did sort of like promise or say that I would try to get onto my numerology videos before my trip but to be honest there was just so much going on and I just couldn't squeeze it in and I didn't want to put myself under that pressure but having said that I will aim or try to get it done once I return and yeah and also do a few other videos because this trip has opened my eyes to a lot of things and not in the sense as Japan has because I've actually been to Japan quite a few times this is actually my fifth time in Japan and I actually used to live in Japan um 16 years ago I was uh, teaching English to young children um, up in Ibaraki, Ken. But yeah, anyway, that's a different story. But yeah, this trip made me realize a lot of things and, you know, yeah, it just got me thinking, I really want to do the video on introversion or the video, a uh, video on introversion and really educate people on what it really means because to this day, I still have people not really understanding what it really is. And, uh, you know, for example, I had someone on this trip say to me um, after I had mentioned, it's like, oh, you'll um, go. Oh, yeah. When, once we get to the club, um, you can find me on the dance floor. And then um, this person said to me, it's like, oh, well, that's not very introverted or something along those lines. But basically implying that introverts don't dance, only extroverts do. And yeah. If you're an introvert out there who likes to dance, how annoying would that be to hear something like that? And you'll be like, mm, that's not what introversion is about, guys. Um, just quickly, introversion, extroversion, ambiverts. First of all, it's a spectrum. One end is the high-end introverts, which I fall into. The other end is high-end extroverts, which the highly extroverted people fall into. And it, they're very easy to recognize, by the way very easy to spot one but the majority of the population actually fall near the center and we call these people ambiverts so they're slightly introverted or slightly extroverted and they can actually shift gears so they can move from one to the other so if you have someone tell you that oh, i used to be an extrovert but now i'm a bit of an inch introvert they're likely an ambivert because ambiverts have that ability to sort of shift because they're not so extroverted or introverted they're kind of a little bit and they kind of sort of move back whereas high-end people kind of stay that way and this is something important to note um science I think science is that what you say has proven that a lot of us are born this way so you can't have a high-end introvert like me suddenly say oh I'm an extrovert because number one introversion extroversion is to do with how you utilize your energy how you recharge and it's also to do with brain wiring as well so yeah I want people to really start understanding that and start realizing that social skills social capability social activities has nothing to do with introversion extroversion we all can do it it's just that us introverts we get drained extroverts get energized ambiverts it depends on their mood they can get drained or blah blah, blah. it depends how hard they go but yeah I really want to talk about that and yeah I also wanted to talk about again um I think I've mentioned this mentioned this in one of my previous videos I want to talk about projections and you know assumptions and making foolish assumptions because I came to find that people still have certain assumptions about me and the thing is these people have never hung with me they've heard a few things here and there from x person a person b person c person z person but these people are people who have never really hung with me or know anything about me. And so there's these stories going around that I'm some kind of frequent smoker. And when I say smoker, I'm talking about 
that one and which really made me laugh like I was laughing in my head I was like are you are you for real and do you even know how clean I am like as in the sense like I'm quite disciplined and I rarely touch things and the only time I really touch things is when I really need to sleep and knock myself out or on the odd occasion when I've had a really long stressful week at work and it's Friday night and I just want to knock myself out on the couch that's the only time and yeah but anyway digressing but yeah that's something I also wanted to talk about because I've come to realize people have this sort of perception of me as being some sort of like b-o-n-g head and I'm just like uh no I'm sorry no and it's coming from people who actually take all kinds of things on a very regular basis which I'm just like What gives but anyway yeah it's uh been a very interesting trip indeed I'm, I'm having a lot of fun but as an introvert very tired like you know 10 11 days straight of just activities 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 people 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 and yeah and that's why it's a Saturday night and I've chosen to stay home while my husband is out at a bar and likely going to a club and yeah but I've just wanted to take it easy because tomorrow is our last day and I would like to do some last minute shopping buy some knickknacks for people um yeah just yeah just chill take it easy on my last few days because I don't want to be stressed out and returning back home stressed and you know this was meant to be a chill holiday for me but it didn't feel so chill because there was just so much going on but like I said I did have a great time and yeah what else do I want to say? Um, hmm, um, I think that's really it, really. Um, yeah, just a lot on my mind and a lot I want to talk about. And hopefully the next time I come on, I'll have some interesting things to talk about. And yeah, I'll hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, start pumping out those numerology videos and start talking about maybe my services too. Um, I am an energy healer. Yes, I can do Reiki, but it's not my go-to modality. I actually like doing Pelua and I'm actually working on, actually not working on, but I kind of have this sense that I can do another type of healing and it's a healing that, what can I say? let's just say it's my style healing and it's where I have learned and picked up pieces from everything and brought it all together and I will heal or cleanse chakras or whatever um my own way and also using my voice because I realized my voice fox is very very powerful in the sense that my voice heals people not just through my words but through certain chants chants that I don't even know where it comes from. It just comes. And yeah, I can go very into very ancient type of tones and also into very angelic type of tones. Sorry, I just, why did I do that? Da -da! By the way, I have what we call our orangutan arms. I always tell people about this and look how big this muscle is. Anyway, I'm being weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, just a lot to talk about, a lot to do. And yeah, um, I am going to go maybe take a little bit of a trip to Don Quixote, uh, which is what we call the everything store. And yeah, um, yeah, just have a look there. Maybe, maybe not. I'm starting to get lazy and it's almost 12. Like, do I really want to make a late night trip to the store or do I just want to do it all tomorrow? Hmm, I'll have to see, hey? But uh, <laughs> yeah. Please be patient with me, guys. I am still trying to figure out what it is I want to do here on this platform and what it is I want to do behind the scenes. And at the same time, my current job, my contract ends end of October unless something happens and ends earlier. But I am mindful that I have to start really focusing and really figuring out what it is that I really want to do and what it is that I'm trying to offer on this platform. And am I going to do pick a card readings? But there's so many great readers out there, like so many. And I'm obsessed with um watching pick a card readings and I actually watch them to knock me out as well. Like, yeah. <laughs>
I have an addictive personality and this is why um I'm very careful with um E R U G S because I know that if I'm not careful I can. So yeah, I'm actually quite disciplined. So I always find it interesting that people would say XYZ or make assumptions that I am doing XYZ, especially when my father had making stuff at some point. But anyway, mm, that's another story. And yeah, I would like to, by the way, yes, that I brought my tarot cards with me because why not? <laughs> I am going to pull out one random card just, just, just for the sake of it, just before I end this video. And yeah, and by the way, thank you to my handful of followers. Really, it's a handful because it's only five of you. Even though it says six, there's only five of you. Because remember, one of them is me. So hi, guys. Um, Welcome, welcome. I do not know if you love me, hate me. I really have no frigid idea. But, you know, some for some reason, you're drawn to me. So thank you. <laughs> and yeah. And so I have this one special message for my special five. Oh, damn. Damn. The Emperor. Guys, guys, guys. To my handful of followers right now who watch this when I post it, you guys. Oh, I'm being told that you're going into boss mode soon. So let's get into boss mode together. Okay, guys, I am so excited for you and I'm so excited to see where this ends up. It might not even end up anywhere. Like in one year's time, I'll be like, close down. <laughs> no, I'm not going to let that happen because I have big dreams and I said, I said, I do I? Am I joking? Who knows? <laughs> I'm delirious right now, so I'm going to go and, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this. It's all over the place, but I think if you watched a few of my videos now, you will know that I am all over the place. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bye! Or as the uh, Japanese would say, sayonara! Or konbanwa! Or... Eh? Done it. <laughs>